Hello and welcome to the LumaWiz training channel. Today I will show you how to download and install the LumaWiz trial version. Please go to LumaWiz.com and type LumaWiz.com. Go down, you'll see the link for the LumaWiz trial version. Click on it. You'll see the information about the trial, limitations, etc. As you can see, you could enter up to 100 trips or run LumaWiz 500 times. Any information you enter are fully transferable to the full version of the software. So let's go up, click on the download link, save. After download is complete, please run. Follow the prompt, click next, 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 install. And wait for the Windows warning to come up. This is the user act account control. Click yes. Now it's registering the modules, etc. The checkbox for launch LumaWiz is already clicked for you, so just click finish and the second step of the installation will start. And it will tell you that LumaWiz needs to install its data or update its data files. Click OK. Leave the default of course uh, folder the same click next click OK to install the new database files in a few seconds this will be done Lumos is populating a few information Once it's finished, click OK. The trial version will start. And then you need to type in master for the user ID and password for the password. Then click OK. The limo ID list will list a fictitious company name. Of course, you need to edit that. Type your company name here. Let's call it my great ride limo service. And then you type in your address 100 Main Street. Hit enter. Let's say it's Denville, New Jersey 07834. Enter. And then you put your phone number. 201 555 1212 for example and then you could put a website address if you want to lowercase xyz limo.com and then save next you will need to go through the settings of the program and check the boxes that are applicable to your company this trip settings 1, trip settings 2, trip calculations, check on the boxes that apply to your business, dispatch, again you need to uh, click on the check boxes or enter the values that you need, uh, dispatch, of course, colors, you could set the color for other items, billing, you could retrieve the default messages, Billing and finance is not required, but you could have it. It's available for you. Edit hour fees. You could compute the late hour charges based on the time of the job. And you could type in the MS. Let's say if it's between 3 o'clock and 3 a.m., we're going to charge $15 more. So when you add a job, LumaWiz will add $15 to the late hour fee. Uh, RTF or rich text format. Uh, terms and conditions. You type in the information. And then you could use the RTF it is an editor where it allows you to type in your information and you save it. Fax, you could use internet faxing or local faxing. For internet faxing, you click on the chalk box, select eFax, for example, Ring Central, etc. And uh, that's it. We well, just have to download, make sure that the PDF printer driver is downloaded. This is available on our website. Application, you could select, for example, the Maplet Link, Google the display format 
and the phone number format. HTML terms, same thing like the RTF, however, this is needed if you are um, sending HTML confirmations. And we'll go over this in other uh, videos. Email account, you set up your email account. Please see the video about sending emails in this regard. And then you save. Next, uh, of course, you'll need to uh, add your accounts, add drivers, vehicles, uh, airlines. We have a list of airlines already there. Uh, you could you need to add your rates. Uh, this is explained in the manual. We'll have another video about this. And uh, after you do all of that, then you should be able to add jobs in the system. To add jobs in the system, normally you will use a dispatch button. And by default, it's going to be by date and today's date. You click OK or Find. Elmos will display the list of jobs for the day. To add a job, it's very simply you just click on the Add button. Type in the account number. Since we just started, we don't have any account numbers. So we could add one easily. Click on the Magnifier button right there. Click Add, add and type in the account number. Let's say it's, uh, uh, for example, Cash Johnson, uh, the phone number. Let's say it's uh, uh, Jack123, right? And we have first name of uh, Jack um, Johnson. And the address is 100 Main Street. And you could go down to the zip code if you want to and just type, uh, for example, 07701, Red Bank, New Jersey, came up. And you type in an email address, uh, for example, g123 at uh, gmail.com as a sample. Lumos automatically will put the uh, confirm to account. You have other options, of course, in the drop down how you want to send email confirmations to your clients. And then you type in the phone numbers, for example, 201. And uh, the account type, let's set it to individual, as in this in this sample. And he pays usually in cash, so we set that up. You have other tabs here on the top also for the reservation settings, etc. Please take a look at these. The man will explain them account commissions if this is an account that uh, you need to give commissions to fees um, administrative fees and gas surcharge fees account notes etc once you're done you just click on the um, save and you're set now you have an account you could select this account and there you go the most populates information for you and you go down to the time let's say 12 at 30 p.m drop of time is not required. In the account zone um, or trip zone we need to add the trip. Uh, first time Lumos will ask you to type in the airport codes like EWR for Newark Airport, JFK for say JFK Airport. The description is not required okay but uh, you could have it there if you want to to explain what it is. And um, that's it. Let's say we don't want to do all of that stuff. Now you could type in the information. Let's say it's from Rockaway um, to EWR, and we charge normally um, fifty dollars. That's it, really. That's what you need. Just create a reverse trip zone and click save. Now Lumos creates a reverse trip zone in going and incoming. He's going to the airport, clicks select. Service types, we don't have any service types, so we need to add a few. Let's add a few. Remember, this is just the first time. Let's say sedan. Our rate, we just set up the hour rate for it. Uh, not for this trip, this is generic information now. 55, five, 55, and over time, let's say it's 55. And gratuity percentage, let's say it's 20. And additional information is uh, optional, but we'll show you what this add amount to basic rate uh, means. It's critical to know. Click save. If service type, let's add another one. Let's call it uh, limo 10 packs. Rate, let's say 75, 75, and 75 for the overtime. Now, add amount to basic rate is how much more money you want to add over. Uh, the sedan rate to come up with this rate. Let's say somebody's going from 
uh, Rockaway to Newark and it, the cost is 50 and let's say we here say that we want to add 30 dollars so you just 30 dollars so the rate becomes 80 dollars click save and you set so let's select that and you can see that the price now is 80 because the price is 50 plus 30 we got 80 and Lumos automatically is going to calculate for you the gratuity if you have anything based on the uh, service type but right now we don't have anything but you could go back to the limo 10 packs and set a gratuity percentage let's say it's 20 save and select now limo calculates the gratuity for you automatically now next step would be to go to the routing he's going from the let's say his home to the airport just click on the f6 or the um, can address button and he's going to the airport click on the airline button he's going on let's say American and flight number 500 the flight is not required for outgoing but you could add it in that's it any additional information you could put in let's say you forgot that you uh, um, need to add a note maybe on the top you just go ahead and insert a line type in do not ring the bell this is a note for the driver and you could even have it not to print let's say on driver trip tickets do not print in invoices okay and in statements because you don't want that uh, to appear on the customer's invoice so you just click that the mode puts a special note there as you can see pound sign C pound that means do not print on invoices click save then click save Alamoz will send an email to the client on file if it wouldn't want to send it so okay and then um, you have a trip number one zero 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 one you could add a new trip or round trip. Let's say you want to add a round trip very simply. Limos populates the information for you. Type in the return time to say he's coming back at um, uh, 6 p.m. Okay, 6 p.m. And right away, Limos will reverse the trip zone for you automatically. This is the one we entered before. And he's coming back this time on a sedan, not a 10 passenger limo. He's coming by himself. And the charges will be calculated automatically for you again here if you're parking you could put five dollars parking for example you go to the routing now he's coming into the airport Lemos automatic knows it's an arrival and he's coming back on United and a flight number let's say it's uh, 600 or 600 from Denver and you click OK and then he's going back home just click on the account address button save and then we don't want to send a confirmation this time let's leave it blank and then save that's it that's how to set up LumaWiz 